All right. Hey, what is up? Welcome back. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about Fig Jam. Just two weeks ago, I had this discussion with one of the design leads I work with, and we were discussing, would it make sense just to use Figma as is for what Miro does for the workshops, user research? And he said, hey, Figma is actually getting new features, which might cover what we need. And it's going to rival Miro and Klaxon and tools out there for workshops. But is it any good? I immediately linked to my team and said, hey, team, can you please check this out and let me know your feedback? Can we actually use it? One of the responses was this. The other response was that. And as you can see, they're not really positive. And even in the Design Squad community, someone asked, hey, what do you think? And it didn't seem like it went far. But this video is not about that. This video is me trying it out and showcasing what it is if you haven't had a chance to look at it yourself and make your own opinion. And so we're here. You can see it's in beta version, is being saved as part of my other files, which is pretty neat. So there is some sort of onboarding, which nobody's gonna care about anyways come on emotes stamps cursor chat so you can choose the mode leave a emote which i guess is great for those sessions you have with the team and if you have too many members to actually shout out something you have a stamp which is a voting option i would presume and then you have also a cursor chat it doesn't leave you to just tag it you just need to type it immediately so that your team can actually see it on another screen and of course there is a comment which is going to be permanent and you can act it as a resolve so something what Miro does and simplified at that you have a pencil which you can draw something nice which is awful if you ask me just to do it bare hand but it doesn't really matter and of course you have options to switch colors sizing of it so is it a marker is it a pencil cool drawing shapes for the flows and things of that nature it has all the features you probably would want coloring fills hyperlinks bulleted points sizing of the actual text does it have icons can't see actually this is something i would want in this tool and of course post-it notes and each of the post-it notes allows you to actually have a name so exactly who's typing it you can see see everything else is exactly the same as that sticker or rectangle option you can draw and what is this oh that's how you toggle the tag and who wrote it and i can see this plus icon which just adds another option oh and it kind of tiles it what happens if i actually zoom in and zoom out how big is the canvas looks quite infinite it's not too shabby and then you have a text tool of course nothing fancy here connection tool with other bits which i would want it to be already integrated like you would have in miro let's say that that to me is a key feature what i would use it as a strategist as a team manager let's say then i need to come up with something so it's quite structured it seems quite limited in that but in a good way if you know what i mean then you have components which i guess you could kind of pre-make all the stickers icons what if i look for something like let's say robot icon nope what if i look for something like a person icon couple but not too many so i would want them to integrate with more services i guess because you have all these libraries which you could make and of course my design system as well interesting so i guess you could work on your files in your design system but then also drag it into fig jam as you work on it as you can see i have let's say simplest wireframe kit and if i add it let's see what happens then i have it as an option and then i guess i can just drag in the components so you can ideate and i guess validate your screens on the go you don't have to go like copy from file to file you can just drag them in as components and also edit and this is like to me it's very clear as well because this is the first time i look at it because all of it works just like figma would so it's almost like they broke it and hacked it and made regular figma just a little bit simpler and restrictive because all the other features are here minus the toolbars and sidebars and then the stamp tool i guess it's exactly the same let's see if i can put my mug on it too few of a little v's here and then the images which you can i guess attach something to it boom boom so that's about it but will it replace miro i really don't think so you know why because miro is such a power tool majority of the research my team and myself we've been doing 
for in the recent years, it's all stacking up to Miro. And this is where my concern would be. Would Figma actually allow you to have very extensive services which have, let's say, massive product portfolio? I can see using it for smaller workshops, for one-offs, for not something kind of continuous, but maybe it's just my perception because I'm used to Miro, I'm used to all the other tools like Whimsical and Murals and everything which is purpose-built. I think one of the bells and whistles which is missing to me is, you know, the official voting, the timers, things of that nature, which maybe are going to come with the community plugins. But for now, I just can't see those options on my screen at all. And if you can add that workshop type of capability, maybe even support the design sprints and add the design sprint clock, the time timer, which works backwards, that could also then enhance its adoption. But as a free add on, to the existing licenses if you already pay for Figma. It's a pretty damn cool thing. And on that note, I'll see you next time.